Let's talk about a clinical trial that could totally change how we do things in the ICU. So picture this, a patient in the ICU where every single second really, really counts. Their blood pressure is dangerously low. Doctors need real-time data, and they need it now. So doctors have two main ways to get this info, and it's a pretty big choice. The standard way, an invasive catheter. It gives great data but comes with serious risks. Or there's the simple arm cuff. You know the one. It's way, way safer. So the big question is, do we really need that risky catheter for every single patient? To get a real answer, they set up the best kind of experiment, a randomized trial. Over a thousand patients were split up to compare these methods head to head. Now here's the twist. They weren't trying to prove that the cuff was actually better, just that it's not worse, kind of like a generic drug versus a brand name one. The number one thing they looked at was survival. Did the method change who lived? And the results? Well, they were incredibly clear. The survival rates were almost exactly the same. So that arm cuff was officially non-inferior. It didn't put patients at greater risk. Huge. Okay, so survival's the same. But what about complications? This is where it gets interesting. Let's look at the numbers, because this really shows the massive difference between the two. With the invasive catheter, you're looking at over 8% of patients with bleeding issues. Now, with the simple arm cuff, that number just plummets to 1%. Wow. And how about serious bloodstream infections? Almost 3% for the invasive group. For the non-invasive group, again, way down, less than 1%. So what's the big takeaway here? What does all this mean for the future of ICU care? Well, it really boils down to three huge implications for how we treat these patients. For most patients in shock, it turns out that invasive approach just might not be necessary. It really makes you wonder, what other standard practices should we be questioning next?